seemed like I was coming out of the wrong tunnel there. Uh, but once once they're, once they're out there, the crowd the crowd was awesome, and uh, you know you kind of forget how much the crowd plays a part in, in Boise State home games, and definitely played a part in that game. Uh, you know they were great. It's loud. It's loud down there even when we have the ball, uh, let alone when the other team has the ball. You were mostly retired just a couple weeks ago. I mean, what's it like now to be back in the <clears throat> excuse me back in the driver's seat and dealing with all the day to day stuff? And what convinced you to come back? <laughs> That's a complicated question. Um, well, you know, I was just kind of helping out before. Like, I was just, I wasn't full time at all. I, I was around here. And, uh, I mean, you know, basically, I, I got to know some of the, the guys. But my son plays here, of course. So, getting to know the players, getting to know the coaches. So, you know, when Andy asked me to do it, I knew it was going to be a big, big lifestyle change because in this business you're kind of all in or all out, and I was definitely riding the fence on all out, mostly out. <laughs> and so, uh, I mean, I why did I do it? I did it because I felt like I could maybe make a difference and maybe help and uh, feel an obligation to the program. Definitely feel an obligation to. Andy and the coaches and the players that I know, and I don't know all of them, uh, an obligation to them. What have you learned about Talon in the time that you guys have worked together? And same question about Sam. What have I learned about them? Yes. That they're both awesome kids, uh, very willing to learn, very willing to listen. Uh, you know, so technique wise, I mean, it, it, if I was starting from scratch, there would be some stuff on both of them I would try to fix. But that's one thing about me having experience in the NFL is uh, I'm a lot looser on some of that than I was when I was a college coach. When I was a college coach, hey, we're doing it this way. I just can't fix some of that st or Fix isn't the right word. I can't ask those guys to change some of those things right now because we got to get ready to play games. But uh, really impressed with the, the, all the quarterbacks in the room, uh, being willing to listen, being willing to learn. Uh, this offense does put a lot on the quarterback. We try to take some of that off, but in, you know, defenses are just much more sophisticated today. Our, our own defense is a, is a perfect example of that. I mean, there's quarterback has to be able to operate at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, freakish athlete. I mean, you can see that right off the bat. I mean, Davis came home one day last year, and you know, they wear those GPS things, and told me Taylor was the fastest guy on the team. And you know, when you think of a guy that's at least six five, whatever he is. 210 or whatever he is, and the fastest guy on the team. That's that's pretty impressive because there's some fast guys out there. Uh, the other thing, I, I just think that uh, from last spring, last spring to where Talon came into fall camp, he did some work over the summer. Like he made a big jump uh, between spring and summer because, uh, you know, I kind of thought Sam might beat him out for the number two spot, but Talon, Talon definitely played better than Sam in fall camp, in mm -hmm. training camp. Now Sam, after the season started, Sam was on the scout team, and Sam, Sam started getting better again. He started playing more like he did in spring. Uh, you know, just Talon, I go back to just his willingness to learn and listen. And, you know, he wants to, Talon sees himself, he sees those guys in the NFL. I mean, he sees, he's not a dummy. And so he, he knows that uh, to get where he wants to get long term, he's going to have to improve in some areas.